What's going on guys, Experience Models here, back at you with another video. In today's episode, I thought that it would be a good idea to do a quick little bench update, um, just to kind of show you guys uh, what I've got going on, um, whether you've seen the builds in the live streams on the weekends with uh, Fred and Brian and Terry and everyone. Um, this video will kind of go a little bit more in depth uh, as to what we're doing with some of these builds and uh, where we're at with them and where we're going. So uh, without further ado guys, I'm going to get right on into this and uh, yeah, enjoy. Alright guys, so starting off the bench update is this. This is my 1970 Plymouth AAR CUDA Pro Mod Street Car. Um, it's got a scratch built chassis under it, strange rear end from Future Attraction. It's got Future Attraction's uh, front suspension or drag front suspension. We're using wheels from, I think, Mid America slot cars. Um, they are aluminum, they are anodized black. Uh, the engine is an Iceman Collections Pro, Pro Line Hemi. Um, it's a really nice engine, it goes good with this car, it fits good. The exhaust is a scratch built fender exit exhaust and um, the, the only real thing that's keeping me from wrapping this car up, or getting it ready for primer at least, is, is the detail set that I need to, to try to put together for like the blower, all the mechanics that operate the blower. Uh, fuel lines. Uh, I've got distributors and, and magnetos that I could use uh, with plug wires and, and all that stuff. We've got to get a belt figured out for this and I've got just a couple of other loose ends around the chassis to, to figure out but after that we'll be on to uh, you know, figuring out the wiring schematic for the for the interior of the car as far as the computer, like onboard computers and and uh, the dash and stuff like the switch box, the parachute handle with cable and everything. Uh, we've already got seats picked out. I've got belts picked out for it. Um, it's been a stalled project for a while now. Uh, like I said, it's it's one of the ones I get asked about the most. But that's uh, that's pretty much where we're at with this one. Um, I'll be going back to work on it a little bit this weekend. And uh, yeah, we'll be looking forward to seeing this one get wrapped up here, here pretty soon. So up next is this. This is a 19, I think it's an 80, no, it's a 90. It's a 90 Fox Body LX that I am converting into a nitrous drag, essentially a nitrous big block drag car. Um, the idea for this car came about from a post that I seen on Facebook, which we'll get to that right there next. I saw this kind of like a, a weekend drag setup type thing going on that this guy this guy posted on Facebook where he had a nitrous big tire Fox body on a trailer behind an old bump side Ford F100 and they were both painted red. Um, I'm not necessarily sure what color I'm going to do with this but uh, the the chassis has been back halved. I don't know how well you can see that down in there but I did what I like to call the Fred Henry trick. <laughs> Um, it's got the back half out of the 1967 Pro Stock Chevelle kit, or Pro Street Chevelle kit. I think I've got a, yeah, I've got the box right here. So what I did was, is I went back here and I cut everything from here back out of this kit and it's now been installed on the Fox Body's interior tub. So... What you're going to end up with is a full Pro Street rear end. And then for the front, the front suspension, I don't know how well you can see down in there. I'll move this light over a little bit for you guys. Uh, maybe that got a little better. I can't tell. Um, 
this is some leftover suspension parts from the, I think it's a Revell jukebox Ford kit that I, uh, I used a while back ago on some other parts for another build. And I had left over the front suspension and, and you know, some, some other odds and ends, the spindles and what have you. And, um, yeah, the crash bars up front are scratch built to go around the engine and, and the, the motor plate. This engine is the big block out of the, the jukebox kit, the jukebox kit as well. And I think it'll go, I think it'll go really nicely uh, with this car. And yeah, I can't wait to finish this one up too. Up next is this. This will be, if I can get this camera straightened out. This will be kind of like a tow rig for the Fox body. Um, it's a Mobius Models 1972 Ford F100. It's sitting on Pegasus torque thrust wheels. It uses the factory suspension and it's been lowered. I don't know how well you can tell, but I've, I've chopped a little bit of the factory suspension to lower it. As you can see here, we've already got our hitch ready to go under the back of it. The engine is a Roush 451 RFE big block out of the Foos kit. And uh, man, I'm telling you, this engine is a really nice upgrade for the Mobius kits. There's not a lot of trimming or cutting involved to get it to fit because it's literally n no bigger uh, in most of its dimensions than the Mobius model's factory 360 390 big block so this thing goes in really nice so if you're looking for an engine to go on your mobius ford that's a little bit a little bit cooler looking than the uh old factory 360 390 setup the the foos engine is is definitely the way to go and these things are easy and i mean easy as heck to find left over on ebay so up next is this. This is a project that I've got going for my wife right now. Um, if you guys saw the last video that I done at the end of it, I left a little uh, a little picture at the end for you to decide which completed build you would like to see next on the channel. And one of those builds is a completed Mobius Models 1972 Ford F350, or excuse me, F250 high boy that I just finished. And um, my wife liked it so much that she, she wanted to, me to do an F250 for her as well. She didn't want a high boy. I don't know why, but she didn't want a high boy. So we've got this 68 long wheelbase high boy for Mobius model, or not high boy, but an F250 from, for Mobius models. Uh, this will be another box stock build like the last one. The only thing I'm going to do different with it, I'm going to, you know, wire the battery. It'll have a pre-wired distributor, and it'll have a, uh, it'll have seat belts. Other than that, it'll be a completely, a completely box stock build. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this one. She chose for a color for this. I think she chose diamond green. So you know, you guys go to Google check out diamond green 68 f250 and you'll have an kind of an idea what this truck's going to look like this one won't be rusted or, or it won't have any patina or anything it'll be a nice clean smooth you know just a really nice original looking truck up next oh boy i don't think the camera's going to reach far enough out on this ah, you might this is a huge scratch build project that I've got going on right now. This is the Exo car that I'm building. Uh, it's a 100% scratch built chassis. It uses the independent rear suspension out of the Revell 99 Mustang Cobra kit. Um, it's got leftover front suspension parts from a Formula One car. Um, the engine is an Iceman Collections 5.2 liter GT350 Voodoo engine. It's a resin engine. And sitting on top up there, I don't know how well you can see it, is a nice big fat Whipple supercharger designed by our boy Miguel over at DevilDog.Games. Uh, you guys want some badass STL files, go check out his website, hobbyworks.com. 
I will leave a link to that down below in the bio. Um, killer dude. He's helped me out tremendously uh, throughout my time modeling. And uh, I can't wait to, rock, uh, to wrap this car up and, and rock some more of his parts. Those wheels that are on the car are also for him as well. Uh, as you can see, we've got our scratch-built wing back here. Wow, this camera's not focusing. There it goes. Uh, this this is the scratch-built wing that's going on the car. It'll sit on there just like so. The front splitter will sit under under the nose here, and then we've got our uh, our scratch-built side skirts. We'll go in there. It'll look something like that when it's finished. It's like a essentially like a Pikes Peak car, an open-wheel Pikes Peak car with uh, you know like. 12 to 1500 horsepower um so yeah that's that's where we're at with that one that's another exciting project i, I really want to get this one done in time for the end of the month uh the reason being um we've got the atlanticon show coming up on the 25th and i really really want to get this car on the table that show is like kind of like a homecoming show for me it's the show that started me going to model shows this will be my third time attending and hopefully hopefully we'll get this car wrapped up in time to take it so on to the next one so this one we're going to keep kind of short this particular build because there's not a lot done on it yet this is a Revell 2013 GT500. I think it's a 13. Oh, I could be wrong. Where's the box at? Actually, I think it's a 2010. Anyways, this build is getting a full wide body treatment from Pro Street Hobbies. I'd really like to know where that box is so I can give you guys an exact year. Yeah, it's a 2010. Anyways, getting back to it, this is a 2010 GT500 from Revell that's got a resin wide body kit from Pro Street Hobbies. Uh, I bought this kit last year on eBay, slapped it on the car, and haven't done much with it since. Um, but we are, you know, still planning on finishing this one up, at least in time for the Acme show at the end of the year. All of these will be done before Acme uh, at the end of the year. So, again, not a lot going on with this. It'll have a mostly stock suspension under it. I may do some trimming. I've got some tires and wheels figured out for this. Like I said, I may do some trimming on the suspension to get the ride height to sit where I want it. And the plan for this one is to just completely murder the car out. It'll be completely black. Um thinking about doing a gloss and matte two-tone where like the sides and everything is gloss the hood the roof the trunk and spoiler may be flat and the body kit may be flat I'm not sure yet but uh this will be another one to look look for on the on the channel sometime in the future another kit that I started up last weekend is the uh Revell 1993 Mustang Cobra kit and as you can tell, there's a coyote in it. Um, again, this is another engine from Iceman Collections. And it'll be getting finished up here pretty soon, actually. This kit's going to stay pretty much mostly stock outside of the, the engine and the wheels. So, um, again, not a lot going on with this one other than the engine swap. So... Now, the the one kit that I need to get finished ASAP is this, and I'll get the box down and I'll show you guys what I'm what I'm talking about. It is my Tamiya McLaren Senna. This kit, um, guys, I can't say enough about how this kit goes together. If if any of you guys have built Tamiya kits you know what I'm fixing to say. Um, this is leaps and bounds the best car kit I've ever built. Um, to me, it just has a habit of getting it right. These guys over-engineer everything they do. 
and this kit is literally just falling together. If it was any better, it would it would build itself. And right now, where we're at in terms of progress on this car, as you can see, the chassis is most of the way assembled and painted. There are a few things that I need to finish up before it goes completely together. Uh, I want to get the interior completely wrapped up before I put the uh, the rest of the, the shell over it because there's a shell here that actually sits over the over the bottom half of the car. I won't put it on there right now. But um, the engine is wrapped up. It's all painted. The rear suspension is all wrapped up and painted. The tires and wheels are done. Um, the body panels are sitting in the box right now waiting to be primed. But there's not a lot left for me to do on this. And uh, this will be one of the next uploads, hopefully. I'm going to get started today on priming uh, stuff that's going to be the Fistral Blue, the McLaren Fistral Blue that I've got picked out for this car. Some of the seat pad inserts, the calipers, the body panels, they'll all be the same color. There are these sh nice struts that sit right in here for the doors, that, you know, when the doors come up. Um, these struts are the same color as the car. Those will have to be painted. Once I get the interior wrapped up, I can take the shell, the upper shell, and place it down over it, and then I can start setting the body panels and getting the car wrapped up. But uh, anyways, guys, that's that's pretty much what we've got going on right now as far as what's on the bench. Um, you know, we got a lot of work to get done here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars here that need to get wrapped up. There are probably three more off to the side that need to be finished up. I'm not going to get into those um, because two, two of them are, are my primary Acme builds and I don't want to show those to you guys yet. Um, I want to get a little bit further into them before I, I show them off because they're still kind of in the, uh, the developmental stage. And then one is a, a build that I'm doing for my son, and I uh, I want to surprise him with it here on YouTube. So, But anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. If you like the content, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date on all of my uploads. Uh, like, comment, and share. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.